Hello and welcome to this uh, special session of uh, Horace's India Summit at home meetings are COVID safe but neglect serendipity. I'm Saurabh Shukla. I'm founder and editor in chief of Newsmobile and I want to thank uh, uh, Frank for having this very interesting session scheduled here. I have a stellar global panel uh, with me today. I have my good friend Alex Athanasolis, uh, who's the founder and president and CEO of Sturix Group. I have uh, Pina Hirano from Japan, who's the founder of Assyria. Hi, Pino. And my another good friend, Cyprian Descostia, who I would say uh, is a man who wears many hats. He's a corporate leader. He's a global speaker and has been, I would say, a stellar leader in many industries across the globe. Welcome all to this session. Uh, and we want to make it very interactive today. The idea is a lot of people who are watching us really looking at this topic very closely because COVID has changed the way uh, which, you know, uh, in the manner in which we uh, handle our workplaces, our workplaces are now at our homes. Uh, in some ways, our offices have come to home. And uh, But while this has ensured safety for us, it has also neglected serendipity. So to begin this, uh, I want to ask you, Alex, what is the biggest advantage of having uh, work from home, according to you? Your company, I know, has been specializing in workspaces. How have you geared uh, to a COVID world? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sharab, for, for the introduction. And thank you all uh, for, for today and Frank, of course. Um, it's a very interesting uh, topic and it's a very hot topic, as we said before, because uh, everybody is going through a transformation. Uh, it, it is not, as you know, binary anymore. We went from a model where, where everybody was working from uh, the office to everybody working from home. And now we're trying to find the balance between these uh, two models and find a, a, a hybrid, uh, if you want, model. And everybody is anxious to actually arrive at a, a new day tomorrow. Um, the advantages are many, uh, as are the disadvantages. There is not always, you know, advantages. Um, there are advantages for the employees. Um, uh, it depends on how well uh, their office at home is uh, is prepared, and if they have the the available space and and quiet uh, rooms to to work efficiently, if they do, um, they save a lot of time commuting. Um, if they do, they usually can focus much better. Um, sometimes they can work freely during the day in different times uh, of the day, so they can even adjust when they work, um, and of course. Um, they feel the, the safety during COVID uh, that they can control their environment. Uh, these are the main advantages. There are also advantages for working from home for the employers, um, which have to do actually with um, increased performance, which no one expected. Um, there, there has been increased performance recorded worldwide, uh, depending on the, on the studies from 20 to 40%. Uh, but you also have reduced real estate costs, reduced maintenance costs, reduced operational costs. Um, but these are the advantages only. So there are a lot of advantages and one should make sure how to maximize the advantages and cancel out whatever disadvantages there are. Absolutely. Uh, Cyprian, over to you now. Uh, how productive, as Alex rightly said, that you know a lot of companies are saying that work from home has been productive in many ways because the employees obviously felt that they had this, uh, I think the emotional needs were being met because they were very close to their family during a crisis. What, according to your experience uh, in the industries that you handle, has been the experience of work from home so far? So, uh, as you said, it's very important to see these things from industry to industry because there are some industries where you can uh, apply for uh, such uh, at-home uh, meetings, at-home working, but there are also industries and businesses where you must go to your office, to your job. Uh, the pandemic, of course, changed in all the world, uh, everything that happened and uh, brought in our life this kind of remote working. But uh, from my point of view, it's very important to define uh, in our discussion what we understand by home. 
Uh, and in some cases, uh, we can define home as online working. In some cases, we can define home as a specific area, a limited geographic area uh, around your city or uh, between your uh, home and your office and with no traveling. And uh, in the third case, we can define home as uh, 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 and home working, uh, just staying at your home and working from your home online. So it's very important to define these things. And from my point of view, there are, as I told you, certain industries where you can apply the home working and different businesses where it cannot be applied. In my case, I can tell you that during the pandemic, even in the lockdown months, I used to come to my office in each day. Of course, we had some employees uh, which were working from home. And what I can tell you after discussing with them, uh, some of them like being at home and working from home, but others just uh, missed the job at yeah, yeah. office. Okay. It's very important uh, to understand that from my point of view, this kind of home working must be defined, especially as online working, like we have, for example, now this meeting, which is online. And we cannot still in this year held personal, in-person meetings. So uh, the pandemic changed everything. Uh, we will continue to have this kind of mixed style of working. Uh, we will go to offices. I'm hardly waiting. I think that everybody will uh, at one moment want to go back to the office. But uh, there will always be, uh, as an ingredient of our uh, business life, this kind of home working, which will really, really help a lot of people. Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, persons here in Romania. The IT is really developing here in my country. And a lot of uh, persons working in IT just uh, like being at home and working from home. But there are other industries where they cannot uh, work from home in the same style as working from office. Uh, you know, uh, when we are working from office, we have uh, a different environment and sometimes you can concentrate more on the things that you have to do in your job but at the same time the home working we actually i usually un understand by uh, uh online working will always be and it's all it's already in our life present and uh, a lot of people will uh, uh apply to this kind of working because they will expand the possibilities that they have at home with the possibilities that they have uh, uh, in their office. Working from home, for example, can provide to certain persons a kind of uh, silent environment where they can concentrate to what they really want to do, things that they cannot find in the office. Right. Thank you, Supreme. And let me now uh, go to Pino Hirano-san, uh, you know, a technology leader from Japan. And I love your backdrop. You, know, uh, you are actually uh, bringing the uh, green, greener part of uh, working from home uh, uh, to yeah. our panel today. But tell me, as a technology leader, uh, I sometimes feel, you know, as a media uh, leader, I believe that sometimes the collaboration is missing in virtual meetings. I miss the... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I would say on big news day, the fun of the newsroom when everybody is collaborating and working together. How can mm -hmm. technology bridge the gap here? Is there something which the technology can do to bring in collaboration to virtual mm -hmm. offices? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me explain what we do. So yeah. uh, in the beginning, uh, the the COVID situation in uh, Japan is uh, kind of lower than other uh, countries. But uh, we are still in um, bad situation. We have a, experiencing a fifth wave uh, in Tokyo, and uh, which is second largest wave um, uh, uh, comparing to uh, it's similar to beginning of this year. Right. So, and uh, now uh, the, our company, Astera Corporation, <laughs> is a full remote work uh, situation now. So I'm uh, now <laughs> broadcasting from my home right. <laughs> today. And uh, the technology stuff, uh, the, what we do uh, using uh, technologies, as, as uh, already mentioned, we use online meeting. But uh, right. um, it's not uh, fill out all the, uh, the office uh, productivity stuff. 
like uh, serendipity or the coincidental thinking kind of stuff. So uh, what we apply uh, is a virtual office, as you mentioned. Virtual office means actually there is a uh, the office uh, on the net, on the net, and uh, there is a people there uh, as an avatar, and uh, we can talk uh, anytime um, and going just uh, beside the avatar. So that is uh, one of the things we are doing. So let me explain. Uh, let me use sure, one sure. chart. Sure, yeah, sure. What, what we do uh, for more understanding. So this is what we do. So we actually redefine the office. So before COVID, uh, we have one office. Actually, no, only traditional offices um, yes. in uh, several countries. And then the, in the pandemic, uh, we are getting to remote office uh, because we are locked down. And uh, also uh, we uh, restrict uh, coming to office. Then now we are in the second stage because we think this kind of situation will continue as a new normal. So uh, we now entering into not only the remote office, but as I mentioned, we already uh, uh, <coughs> employed a virtual office, which yeah. service name is Office. And then we added resort office uh, uh, in countryside of Japan. And we also uh, contracted with the satellite offices like WeWork, Regis, Office Plus, the co-working space. Then we changed our traditional office to very small space, uh, quarter size office, and but uh, to generate more serendipity, uh, that people want to come and uh, want to chat and uh, in uh, s some special occasion. So uh, we uh, consist of five uh, new office types uh, to support the serendipity and the productivity, and also some. Uh, uh, changing the mind or environment and stuff. Yeah. You so know, that, uh, thank you. I would love to uh, use this OIS uh, in uh, India and Singapore where we operate uh, in news mobile. <coughs> so I'll uh, get on with you offline. But coming back to you, Alex, uh, mm. thank you. Uh, if you can just stop your uh, screen sharing. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Coming back to Alex. Uh, Alex, so the new demand for offices, which you are getting now, uh, in many countries, offices are reopening. Uh, what is different in a COVID world uh, or a post, I can't say post-COVID world, I wish I could say that, but in the offices in the present realm, what is different? How are they changing? Uh, I think the answer is very easy. Uh, everything is different. Uh, so I think uh, workplaces have been disrupted uh, completely. We, we work, we've done projects in 26 countries from, uh, from India to Scandinavia and from Russia to um, uh, West Africa to Nigeria. So we, we, we understand a lot about how workplaces are transformed and how work uh, is transformed uh, itself. Um, I think that um, what Brian said before is correct. It's it's quite industry specific. It's cultural specific as well. Um, it's company specific as well because keep in mind we talk about work culture and the work culture from one company to the other is is different. But for sure, what we're what we're seeing is we're we're going to a model. Uh, I think um, I think that uh, the reality is that Pina showed it in the best possible way, and I have to congratulate him because the variety that uh, Asteria created is, is immense, and it can actually support employees. Um, I think um, workplaces have changed completely, and it's not for for us who who design workplaces and workplace strategy. It's it's not about if the office is one fourth than what it was before. It's what kind of one fourth the the workplace is. So you see, we go to the we we go to the offices now for a different reason, and we've run survey employees for uh, a lot of multinational companies with uh, thousands of employees. And you see that the reason they want to go to the workplace, to, to the office, is not to work. They want to go to have um, uh, an interaction, a collaboration, a social, if you want, 
uh, interaction with uh, employees or uh, team leaders. So the workplace itself has to be redesigned from scratch because the work as a workstation, and I'm generalizing, I know Cyprian, but I'm trying to find, you know, an average to, 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 to uh, get the conversation going because it is very company specific. But the average employee can work at home. He needs to go to the office because he needs to be human. He needs to, he needs to engage to the company. He needs to collaborate with other cross-functional teams. That's the main reason why and how the workplace is redesigned and changed today. Right. Uh, Cyprian, tell me, uh, in some ways, a lot of people are now saying that, and companies globally are saying that uh, they understand that employees save a lot of time traveling. Uh, they also have to be uh, close to their families. But what about a hybrid model? Uh, do you think that can work very well where the employees go to office for, say, uh, two times a day or three times, uh, three times, sorry, uh, three times a week? And, and for the rest, they're working from home. Do you think that's going yeah. to work? Yes, uh, it's exactly uh, the direction that we are going towards uh, this kind of hybrid style of working because, uh, you know, uh, let me give some examples uh, which uh, continue the idea that uh, Alex explained uh, because it's also cultural uh, yes. with uh, the work style. For example, in the Latin countries, Romania is a Latin based country like Italians, like Spanish people, we like to hug each other, we like to shake hands, we like to kiss each other, we like to express ourselves physically when we are talking, yeah. so we need to interact. Uh, this is why people will like to go back to office. But uh, when we discuss about uh, what are the trends here in the real estate market, for example, if before the pandemic uh, the trend was to have big and open uh, offices and uh, a lot of people to stay inside with the idea that they can interact. Now, a big switch in this is that now everybody is asking for small offices, uh, divided offices, where you have one, two, maximum three persons inside one office, exactly because of uh, the protection from uh, the possible virus in the future years, because nobody knows exactly when this will end. But, but it's very important to understand that in the future, the hybrid style of working will be uh, the basic norm. I'm certain about this and I have many reasons to tell you this why. Because one of the most important debates in the world, including Europe, is to establish a fewer number of working days within the week. There are already some countries which discuss to have four working days instead of five working days. Right. And, and this will be switched and this will be changed in the future exactly in this direction because this style of thinking about the working days will be implemented with the help of home working. There will be certain companies which will ask their employees to come three days or maximum four days in the office and they will let the employees to stay and work from home one or two other days during the week. Uh, it's very important that in the future everybody everybody will have all the devices needed to uh, apply the work from home. So laptops or uh, iPads or iPhones or everything and all the applications that are needed. But the norm, the basic norm will be the hybrid style of working in the future. Right. Uh, Pina, coming to you now, uh, one of the things that have happened during the COVID time, uh, a lot of people are taking uh, driving holidays uh, to rejuvenate uh, you know, or, or are working from, uh, say, hill stations or uh, nature resorts and so on. As somebody, as company which is involved in innovation, have you thought of creating a mobile office, maybe something which can set it up in your car while you want <laughs> to go and work out, uh, you know, work from uh, away from uh, your mm -hmm. home or to a green resort or maybe a forest? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yes, mobile <coughs> office, uh, that, that's a good idea, but uh, uh, in my company, in our, in our company, uh, no one has <laughs> tried it, the mobile so office. This is, so this is, yeah. this is, a, this is the innovation <laughs> idea I'm giving you right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 I understand. So that will be fine, and, uh, but uh, at this moment, uh, the, I, uh, well, I agree, the hybrid office, but the hybrid uh, doesn't mean only office and home. 
uh, not right. the two dimension. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, the uh, one of our idea is five dimension hybrid offices, right. Right. and uh, but uh, it doesn't include the mobile office. So yeah. <laughs> we maybe, can, maybe, maybe now you can start thinking things. about it. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, it could yeah. be uh, better. It could be better for BCP um, okay. and stuff. Yeah. Because in Japan, there's a many earthquakes and yes. many volcanoes. And then nowadays, uh, many raining uh, disasters. Not only COVID is a disaster. So mobile mobility of the workplace is uh, one of the key in the future, I agree. So, uh, and, and also I agree uh, to make this happen, the technology, especially information technology is a, a great supporter to make it happen. No. I would love to, in fact, because I love uh, when I'm shooting <laughs> for my TV shows and my uh, media shows. I've actually done things uh, while uh, in the car and we've tried to experiment, but certainly uh, mm. I'm sure we should collaborate on that uh, yeah. for a mobile office. Uh, coming <laughs> to you, uh, Alex, one of the things, tell me, a, pe- a lot of people are facing funny moments while working from home. Has, oh, uh, tell us about one funny moment that you've had while working from home or what you have heard from some of your clients. Well, there are a lot of funny moments, especially when you don't have a dedicated room and you have people coming, you know, behind you and uh, and and uh, uh, children and and and, and pets. Uh, I, I'll tell you a story about a pet. We had a very important presentation, and uh, one of our uh, uh, chief designers was presenting, and and suddenly uh, he, he was at, he was at home. And suddenly, his cat passed between him and the and and the screen, and and, and pressed the keyboard. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and the whole meeting and ho- the whole meeting went to pieces because the cat was there, and he decided to to you know pass between uh, the computer and 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 our chief designer, which was very funny because you could see the cat coming, but you never expected that you know the meeting would be destroyed by it. Um, I, I, I just like to say one thing because um, Pina talked about uh, uh, destruction and, and different calamities and what's happening. I, just a very small parenthesis. No one is talking about the sustainability impact of working remotely. Because if you reduce commuting, if you reduce operational costs, if you reduce real estate costs, then you have a huge advantage on sustainability issues. And I'm, I'm just mentioning it because a lot of the, the bad things that ha- are happening are because of, um, you know, sustainability issues. And just no, no, it's very, very, in broad terms, you know, if you increase yeah. performance and reduce costs, uh, very, that is very, also... Absolutely. Alex, very important point that you made that, you know, in some ways, uh, sustainability is being aided by people working from home. Uh, Supreme, coming to you, tell me, do you think uh, a lot of companies, big companies have come out publicly that they are saving a lot of a lot on costs? Uh, so do you think that in some ways uh, working from home or a hybrid model can help companies take better care of their employees or their well-being? It can help. It can help from a business point of view. It can help from cost point of view. It can uh, have a good impact on uh, on uh, on the developing of the businesses but we have to uh, apply again to the idea that i told at the beginning of our discussion that we have to follow the industries specific industries can have this kind of uh, homeworking uh, there are other industries where it's not possible to have this kind of homeworking uh, about beautiful things it's very important to to say something about this uh, during the pandemic, uh, uh, in in one kind of another, each of us were working sometimes from home, online, of course, and we uh, we find out that we can uh, sing together even if we are far away, but uh, we are online. We find out that we can have uh, even business dinners together, just staying <laughs> alone in uh, in your room and <coughs> partners. So yeah. it's a little uh, kind of different feeling, but you can see how the things can go forward and including this kind of business uh, online lunch can help 
business development or a new contract or something like this. Relating to the costs of employees, uh, of course, uh, if uh, uh, we are thinking that it's a kind of saving, uh, not uh, going from home to your uh, office, uh, yes, it's a positive thing, but sometimes uh, the productivity of uh, an employee which is in the office is higher than the productivity which he has working from home. So uh, we will always have to balance these things. And uh, as I told you, uh, the hybrid style of working, I'm certain it will be the, the, the basic uh, uh, rule in the future of working. And uh, this is also related to the policies that the uh, governments in many countries have related to reducing the number of working days. So they will mix the home working in the future with, uh, with the uh, work from the office, the classic style of working. Right. Uh, Pina, I, I, you, yeah, yeah. I like to talk yeah, sure. about the productivity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the productivity, there's a, a lot of uh, the news report regarding productivity. Uh, right. Let you uh, show our results. So I use I use the screen again. Yes, sure, please. Okay. So <clears throat> let me check. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Sorry, there it is. Can you see? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This one. Can yeah. you see? <laughs> yes. So this is yeah. productivity chart. So this is the, the three lines, a three graph chart, and the top one is a uh, ordinary uh, companies uh, of the listed company in Japan. So about half of the company uh, employees said the the productivity was bad, bad in remote work. And the uh, okay. center one is uh, our survey, Asteria survey in July, the internal survey, our employees, and about 49%, uh, 47% mentioned the productivity was improved. And then three months later, uh, in October, the 55% employees said the productivity is increased. So what right. the difference, what the difference of this is uh, we are very much uh, pushing uh, and uh, um, uh, the adopting the telework, uh, the remote work uh, uh, tools and uh, uh, rules and and so on. So we change it our software all the all to the cloud, and uh, we change our job evaluation and uh, also all the we uh, have uh, about uh, 150 US dollars subsidy every month to improve the remote work. The, uh, yeah. So uh, as a result, the productivity was very, very high like this. And the more recent work, uh, re recent survey shows more than 60%, about two thirds of employee uh, has uh, improved productivity. So there's no reason yeah. by the management to return back to the uh, traditional home. So, the, this shows uh, the when the company, uh, except for the essential work, uh, the when the office workers um, get more and more aggressive uh, investing on the remote work, the uh, productivity can go up, and not necessary to return back after COVID. That's what that, I want to say. Yep. That thank you so much, Pina. But it's very very interesting, and I want to count. Uh, you know, a follow up question to what you said. What is, according to, uh, in your view, uh, the key parameters of productivity that the companies should mm -hmm. encourage while working from home, uh, remote working, uh, which uh, you people found, which have, which are really helping uh, motivate, uh, you know, uh, team members to work better while they're at home? Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons is, as uh, the, someone said, the commuting time. And the uh, waste of time or, or, or visiting the uh, partner companies or customers. So there's uh, many uh, wasting time in the, uh, in the work. 
and, and metropolitan area, especially in Tokyo. Yeah. So, and uh, that is a kind of uh, energy wasting, not only the time wasting, but uh, energy wasting in such a very hot day, moving uh, in the outside. So, yes. the people like uh, the more comfortable working place, uh, and uh, it is more uh, <clears throat> product, uh, productive because uh, most of the office work nowadays is more creative work rather than just, uh, uh, just a factory kind. So uh, it is important for the productivity to make a comfortable brain with a comfortable environment. So that, uh, I think, uh, gen generate or improve the productivity. So then, uh, not only the survey, actually our business result, financial result was the best uh, record high in our, uh, our uh, history. It's yeah, really, really high uh, profit and uh, uh, the, how can you say, operating profit, uh, the net profit kind. Very good, congratulations. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, uh, back to you. Is there a way, and you are somebody, you are an innovator of workspaces, I would say. Uh, is there a way by which uh, you are thinking of a model because a lot of people may not be going to full-scale offices of creating an office space, maybe a portable office space, which can be actually put on somebody's backyard, which you may be thinking as a company, which you decide that, oh, you want your employee to work uh, from your garden or a backyard, we will create an office and put it there. Uh, we, we haven't made such a model. What we have done uh, and we have designed, uh, and uh, n now you can find it in many different formats, right. is actually a more secluded way to work uh, within your house. So what, is, what, are, what are the parameters that keep uh, people, um, uh, what, are, what are the pains of working from home? Uh, you don't have uh, sound insulation. Uh, sometimes you don't have the correct light, you don't have the correct uh, desk and chair. Um, so what we have uh, done and what we have designed is actually uh, a booth um, which you can have uh, a separate uh, uh, ventilation and it's uh, soundproof and sound absorbing and you can have, you, you, it has a standard uh, light which is the correct temperature and the correct intensity. And uh, if you combine that with an ergonomic chair, then it's very easy for you to create a very small, uh, actually one, 150 by 150 environment inside your, inside your house where, where you can work um, uh, better. Um, it, it's not something, you know, most of the people, depending where you live and depending on the residential real estate status, uh, you know, the sizes of the houses, um, uh, the, the proximity, uh, mind you, commercial real estate uh, and uh, residential real estate are heavily impacted by, by all this disruption. Uh, I think that most of the people are slowly uh, making their work from off home much better. Uh, and so is working from office becoming much better. So when we're talking about performance, we have to keep in mind that we're still in a transition and performance will be higher, skyrocketed because people will make a much better work from home environment or work remote environment and companies will provide a much better office environment. So we're in for a, for a boost of uh, performance and a boost of uh, a flourish, if you want, of, of work uh, in, a, in a much better way. Right. Excellent. Uh, Cyprian, as Alex said, uh, you know, a much better work from office environment as well. What is your wish list? What do you think uh, the employers should be adding to their workspaces to uh, make them uh, as attractive or more attractive and obviously uh, safe in a COVID uh, world? So, so uh, I, I, from my point of view, I will come back to what I told you, and uh, it's a specific cultural thing. So uh, the interaction with your colleagues. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, people are missing um, this interaction. Uh, you can go to your office. You can have a coffee with your colleagues while start to, to work. You can uh, chat with them, and it's something very personal in that moment. When you are staying at home, of course, you can have the meeting with your colleagues, but the meetings will be online. 
and the personal interaction will not happen. So this is why I think that in the future, as I told you, the hybrid style will be uh, the basic rule. So we will go to office a few days and we will also work from home. But uh, the human beings are social uh, uh, beings, so we need the interaction. And this is why I think the uh, home working will be not more important than mixing these two classic style with home working. Uh, what we have to add from home, uh, you have to add that kind of very good uh, uh, place which you have to have in your house, the, the separate room. You must have all the uh, silence that you need to think to your projects, to discuss. But I repeat, from home, you will not have the interaction with your colleagues and you will not have the interaction with your partners and with your clients. And this is why I do believe, of course, I understand what means a city like Tokyo and going to meetings in, in such a huge city. But the business travel will come back and it will be the basic rule for starting and developing businesses. Not like it was in the past that for everything you just went to the airport, you took the plane, you fly, you go in Asia, you go in Africa, you go in United States and you are coming back in Europe. Not like that, but uh, the personal interaction will be very, very important in the future too. And we will be going in the future too to business meetings. Uh, and I think a lot of people are waiting to go again with no worries across the countries everywhere in the world. Well, I'm, I'm waiting to be back on an airplane, you know. I, I, I still feel that uh, uh, travel uh, really excites you, makes you uh, meet more people. And that's one of the fun of, uh, you know, working, uh, you know, uh, from across the globe and meeting people. There are a lot of questions also coming up. Uh, we have a question from uh, Motoyo Kitamura, who is founder and CEO of North Village Investment. Uh, uh, he's asking, and uh, i like all the panelists to address that, has the work efficiency changed after implementing the remote hybrid working system for the better or for the worse? Alex, for you first and then the rest of the... I think for sure for the better. Uh, yes. I'm an optimist. I'm an optimist uh, by nature. Um, but I think that everybody, including employees and employers, is actively are actively working after many decades to create an environment which is better, higher performing, um, can ensure psychological safety, uh, can uh, increase engagement, and I think that at the end we will be in in a much better place. Until I don't know, Pina will tell us. Uh, until we have, you know, immersive, immersive virtual reality and we can actually have a meeting um, which is virtual and still feel like it's 100% physical. But I guess we're a few decades away from that. Cyprian, as Cyprian said, Pina, you could think of a model where there are people hugging, obviously, or hand fisting, <laughs> <laughs> maintaining Absolutely. social distancing. Yeah, uh, ultimate situation is like a movie matrix, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, um, to answer the question, uh, from Motoya san, and uh, I also, uh, the, uh, say the, the situation changing is, uh, the improving our productivity very much. As I, uh, mentioned in our survey, uh, the two thirds of the employee feel the productivity improvement. And uh, on the other side, uh, that just 10% uh, of employee feel their productivity was down. And uh, as a result, our financial result was great um, because of that productivity up. Then uh, I'd like to uh, uh, emphasize that, that the remote work or this kind of change is not only for the measure of the pandemic or COVID-19. So this is a, a evolutional change of our, our work style to increase the, or improve our productivity. So that changes only the time price for faster than before because of the pandemic. So this digital or revolution or evolution will not go back and uh, uh, the 
the, some of the company get very good uh, improvement based on that. And uh, after that, I will, I believe the other company will follow and the productivity of the world will go get into the next stage. That's my take. Okay, thank you. I, I, I would like to, to say a few words because um, uh, it's very important what Mr. Motoya asked and I can uh, tell that uh, the hybrid style of working will be a way for better results. It's clear, not uh, for worse, but for better. And um, we can uh, emphasize in this moment why. Because uh, the hybrid style of working makes a mix between working from your job, from your office, and working from home. And for many people, working from home uh, can be associated with personal satisfaction, with uh, very good self-esteem, and uh, for many people, this reduces the stress. And this is why the results can be better in this kind of mixed style of working. So the hybrid will be a way for better results, I think, everywhere in the world. When the pandemic came, uh, it came uh, actually in all the countries. Now it's still present. Uh, the home style of working, it was a must. People had to protect themselves. And this is why they had to find solutions to work from home. But only the home style of working will not replace the classic style of working but as I emphasized, for better results, because we see that we, we can have higher productivity, we can have better results from financial point of view, from every point of view, if you are looking in detail, the hybrid style of work will be uh, in the future the basic rule. Yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah. Uh, can I show the screen again? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. I, sure, I, sure. Yeah. I uh, shared in the yeah. beginning of this session, so the the for the hybrid i recommend not only two times but the many times uh the uh, at this moment we asteria uh, employed five um type of the offices and as a hybrid and the employee can select any of the type of work and uh, also there will be some other uh office types like a mobile office or virtual vr kind of office but uh, yes it is very important to uh, the selectable hybrid office uh, to be happen uh, to improve the productivity. The remote office only, I agree, doesn't work. Uh, doesn't. It, it's not uh, the uh, uh, sustainable. Thank you. Right. right. It's quick. Uh, we are just running out of time, so I like a rapid fire response from each one of you. What can you as leaders suggest that we do to support serendipity uh, for people working at home, uh, helping them motivate, helping them uh, stay positive? Alex, you first and then Cypriot and Pina. I think we need to talk to our people and understand and, and, and uh, build a common ground for envisioning tomorrow. I think it's, uh, it's about time that we understand, especially when you work from home, um, you need to find ways to communicate better and keep people engaged. So the ownership in quotation mark of the work model uh, and the um, versatility that uh, Asteria, for example, is providing is key to the success of it. Uh, yes. I think that uh, the most important thing is not to forget to always communicate with our teams, with our colleagues, with everybody. The communication uh, between us and our colleagues is the most important thing. Second, uh, we must offer as leaders to our teams optimism because this makes them uh, uh, want to prove that they can have better results even if they are working from home. And uh, not uh, last but not least, we must trust each of our colleagues in uh, this uh, home style of working in what they are doing. Great. Pina? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In addition to office measures, uh, the, I'd like to add one thing. Uh, go out to uh, go out for a new type of uh, SNS, um, uh, social network service, like uh, voice-based clubhouse or spaces. There's a lot of serendipity. I met um, many, many new people uh, have uh, different ideas, different opinion in, uh, all over the world. So the new type of SNS is uh, one of the way uh, to add. Thank you. Great. Uh, 
thank you gentlemen it has been a stimulating session and i'm sure our audience enjoyed it as well i can say summing it up that the future or the mantra as they call it uh, in india the mantra for success in the future workspaces would be a hybrid model uh, because it also in some ways uh, adds to sustainability also making sure but you as uh, people who are running these companies should also be mindful on how you can uh, interact uh, positive and add to positivity with your team members uh, trusting them motivating them that's very important and as uh, pina said that uh, also looking at uh, newer a uh, social uh, media ecosystem where you can find some serendipity and also hopefully uh, uh, sooner or later we will find a perfect blend of something which combines the comforts of meeting physically yet doing things more efficiently thank you all for watching have a great day thank you sir thank you thank, thank you. you thank you very much bye bye, bye.